Hello, and welcome to the Rutgers University On Farm Food Safety Team's video on single pass line surface sanitation deep cleaning. A deep clean of the equipment used to wash the produce during post harvest handling should take place at the beginning of the harvest season and any other time deemed necessary by the farm. A deep clean is different from a regular in season cleaning and requires specific tools, time, and effort. A deep clean requires that you take apart pieces of the equipment in order to access difficult to clean areas, access the undersides of the equipment, and be prepared to replace worn or broken parts. A deep clean has four steps we'll go over today, dusting the line, rinsing, using detergent, and sanitizing. This process is time consuming and tedious, and attention to details will have an impact on how clean the equipment really is at the end of the process. Posted instructions on the proper process for cleaning and sanitizing the line can be helpful to keep the process on track and thorough. Sanitation of wash lines should not be delegated to the least trained person on your farm team. What you will need. Having the proper tools and equipment to take apart and clean the wash line will make the process quicker and easier. Consider your piece of equipment what pieces you can remove to have better access to the inner working parts, and the types of brushes you will need to effectively clean the nooks and crannies. Remember the four steps occur in the specific order of dusting the line, rinsing, using detergent, and sanitizing. Following all label instructions, pay close attention to any requirements for surfaces to stay wet and if there should be a rinse after the sanitizer is applied. Common sanitizers are bleach, quats, and PAAs. Bleach compounds sanitize through oxidation and may have long-lasting sanitation effects on surfaces. The CDC has guidelines for using bleach as a sanitizing agent. Quats are bacterial and viral disinfectants, and many products have a detergent quality. This means they neutralize microbes. PAAs, or peroxyacetic acids, are sanitizers that can be corrosive to metal surfaces. Remember to discuss with your crew the proper use of your chosen sanitizers and their application methods. For example, some sanitizers need a rinse of water after. Dusting off the line. After winter storage, equipment may have dust and debris accumulated on it. It is important to remove as much of the debris as possible before starting the cleaning step. Start by looking for hardened on debris that may need to be spot cleaned before starting the dusting process. An example of this would be bird droppings. Without removal of the droppings before cleaning, there is the potential to spread the droppings to a greater surface area. Once the large debris has been removed, dust the equipment starting at the highest point and work your way through the equipment. Be sure to dust off all interior and exterior surfaces. Washing off the line. Once dusted off, the line should be sprayed off with water to remove visible debris. Care should be taken not to spray too vigorously, as the spray can contaminate other surfaces in the packing area. For this reason, power washers are not recommended. Scrubbing should be done on stubborn areas that do not come clean with just a rinse of water. Detergent on the line. Washing the line with detergent always happens before sanitizing. Use a detergent appropriate for the line. This example is of a foaming spray through a hose end mixer. Cover the surface entirely and allow to sit, according to the product label directions. Remove all detergent with a thorough clean water rinse. Sanitizing the line. Even though sanitizing is the last step, it's important to have the sanitizing products you'll use before you begin the deep clean. Follow label instructions every time as closely as possible. Most sanitizers need to be used immediately after mixing, so allowing the mixture to sit around is not advisable. Some labels advise the use of protective equipment. These instructions should be followed also. Clean line. Clean to some extent after each use. Deep clean at the start of the season, allowing for the proper amount of time this will take. Prepare by having a plan so that you will have the tools you need to execute this plan. Always follow the four steps of best practice, dust, rinse, detergent, and sanitize. Consider your options when it comes to detergents and sanitizers, and choose products that fit your needs, are appropriate for the surfaces you have, 
are labeled for food contact surfaces and be sure to follow the label directions exactly.